Popsidine Brothers is back here at District 15 and today we are bringing you to a boutique project called Envio and we have a 3 bedroom home size at 1033 square feet with a very palatable PSF of just 1600 odd for a freehold home. Now join us on this home tour as we bring you to Envio. Envio is a boutique apartment that is located along Joo Chat Place. So this project itself is freehold in status and it TOP in 2010. There are a total of 24 residential units spread across 6 different stacks. And if we were to take a look at the site plan itself, we can see that the 6 different stacks, the unique thing is that it doesn't have any adjoining walls to each of its stacks. What this means is that you do not share a common wall with your neighbour. This itself is definitely very exclusive, kind of even feel like your own detached home. And what is great about this site plan is that you can see that out of these six stacks, it's actually serviced by three different lifts. So you actually only share a lift lobby with your one other neighbour beside you. This boutique project also has a pool, a gym and also a barbecue pit. Now let's zoom into the layout of this 3 bader home. Now pulling out the floor plan, this 1033 square feet 3 bader unit layout is squarish and functional. Hence furniture placement planning would definitely be easier. This home also comes with good sized living, dining with attached balcony, kitchen that can be enclosed, household shelter, 2 common room, 1 common bath and 1 master with ensuite and balcony. From the floor plan, I'd like to draw your attention to the 3rd bedroom. Now because this 3rd bedroom is actually sized smaller as compared to the other 2 bedroom, what the current owner is utilising this space as is actually as the dining room. Now of course if you do want to convert it back to a proper bedroom you could definitely do so and we'll share more ideas with you shortly. So currently what we have here is being used as the dining area. You have this really beautiful booth sitting. This booth sitting can easily fit up to 6 people and I think what is also great is that you do have 2 panel of windows right over there at the back so it allows a lot of natural lighting to come in. It doesn't feel dark, it doesn't feel claustrophobic at all. And because of this flexible space right here, what you could also do is to actually convert it into a home office space. So let's say you do have your working desk right here, you could also enclose it with foldable glass door or sliding glass door. Or you could also use this space to do up some display cabinets so you could display all of your prized possessions such as your branded bags, branded watches or maybe your awards and even certificates. Now if you do want to convert this space back to a proper bedroom, you could definitely utilise this bay window area to deck up a single bed. So make use of this bay window area to expand the length that you could have. If you feel that this space is a little bit tight, what you could also consider is actually to install a built-in Murphy bed. So when you do have gas coming over, you want to utilise the space as a guest room, you could just pull down the bed and you know your guests could have a good night's rest. And of course, when you do need the space, you could easily just push the bed back. Alternatively, you could also leverage on this very good ceiling height of approximately 3 meters to actually place a standalone loft bed where you could have some cabinets at the bottom and then still place a study area at the side. Now why we say that this space can still be reinstated back to your proper bedroom is because for a single size bed, typically the size is approximately 190cm in the length and 91cm for the width and for our third bedroom size right here in terms of the length it's actually about 255cm and for the width it's actually about 175 and you must be wondering if let's say you do actually use this space and convert it back into a proper bedroom then where can you place your dining area? Now because of the size of the entire living area you could actually go back to the original floor plan whereby you place your dining area right behind the sofa which is also right outside the kitchen area and that makes sense for a dining space. So we do feel that this space itself is definitely very flexible. You can, you know, change up the usage according to your needs and your preferences depending on the season of your life. And because of the size of this home itself at 1033 square feet, we feel that this unit is definitely suitable for small families or maybe young couple or even an elderly couple and of course for a single homeowner. Now before we continue, let's orient ourselves a little and touch on the location. Designated by National Heritage Board as Singapore's first heritage town in 2011, Joo Chiat has come a long way and is certainly a town filled with rich histories and charm. The Joo Chiat area falls under the rest of Central Region which is part of District 15. This district itself has been highly sought after for many years and this is due to its convenient location and the countless amenities that is available for the residents in District 15. Now let's take a look at the performance of the property prices in the RCR region. This graph shows the median price of 3 beta units split in accordance to its region. Specifically, take a look at the pink line which shows the median price of CCR properties. As 
compared to the orange line which shows the median price of RCR properties. Evidently, there is still a huge quantum gap between these two regions. What this means is that when you buy into a RCR quantum pricing today, it still makes sense because there is still a huge disparity gap to the CCR quantum pricing. Take for instance, our 3 beta home today sized at 1033 square feet priced at just $1.68 million which is below the RCR 2023 Q1 median pricing and it comes with a free host status, this unit is definitely something worth considering. Coming back to our project, Envio is located along Joo Chat Place and within 1km you can find prestigious schools like CHIJ Katong Primary and Hate Go School. In the area, you can also find Geylang Serai Market and Food Centre, Dunman Food Centre, I Want to Katong Shopping Mall, Parkway Parade and Kinex is also located in the vicinity. And there is basically no shortage of FMB options along Joo Chat Place and Joo Chat Road as well. Straight down the road at one end of Joo Chat Place will bring you to Siglap Park Connector where you could take a a nice evening job to East Coast Park. You can also find bus services to Yunos, Pasiris, Woodlands and Bishan at the nearby bus stops. To get to ECP Expressway, it's just about 5 minutes drive away. Now that we know all about the location, let's continue with the home tour. So where we are right now is the living area. You do get a very beautiful feature wall that has already been done up. So typically when we look at two beta homes, the living area might not be as sizable. But what we have right here is definitely very good size. You could even put in a comfortable L-shaped sofa right here. And what I want to bring up is also that the ceiling height is approximately 3 meters. So that gives a very roomy feeling towards the entire room. And of course right behind me is actually your access towards the balcony area. What we have right here are actually louvers that have been installed installed by the developer. So of course, for our unit right here, we are internal facing. So the louvers installed is actually for privacy purpose. This space itself is also very suitable if you do want to do a smokeless grill, you know, have some barbecue time with your family and friends. And also another idea that you could have if you do want to expand your entire living space is to consider installing zip track. So with that, you could even place your dining table right outside if you prefer. Otherwise, what you could do is to push your sofa towards the front a little bit and place your dining table right here which is outside the kitchen area. And of course right behind me you can see that we do have two good sets of built-in cabinetry already done up for you and this is actually floor to ceiling which makes them very good space for storage and of course you have a little sitting over here that you can sit down and then when you wear your shoe before you head on out. And now before we go into the kitchen area itself, over here what we have is actually the household shelter which has been cleverly concealed with this beautiful design right here. And now heading on into the kitchen area. cabinetry already done up for you and all these actually have soft closing already been installed and of course bottom you also have cabinetry as well as a built-in oven now this space itself is actually the perfect place for your washer and dryer area and of course right beside all this uh, countertop you also have a space just nice for your fridge area As buyers of the District 15 area, you would naturally consider bigger and more prominent projects to compare whether it makes sense to buy into smaller boutique projects like Envio. So to touch a little bit on the new launches available in District 15 first, we have the Continuum which is a freehold project, 3 beta size at 872 to 947 square feet. PSF pricing is around 2,500 odd to 2,900 odd. Tembusu Grand new launch project of 99 year leasehold, 3 beta size at 990 to 1184 square feet. PSF at approximately 2,200 odd to 2,500 odd. Now perhaps the new launch prices are on the higher end now which is only natural given it being a fresh new lease and you are buying into a brand new project. So of course at this juncture, you might be thinking what about the resale prices? Would they be more digestible? Take a look at One Ember and Diesta. Both are freehold in tenure. For One Ember, the 3 beta size ranges from 1,200 odd to 1,300 odd square feet. Asking PSF is currently at 2,200 odd to 2,300 odd. Diesta's 3 beta sizes are larger at 1,300 odd square feet. PSF ranges from 2,100 odd to 2,300 odd. As a comparison, let's also look at Seaside Residences which is a newer project in the east but is a 99 year leasehold project with 92 years of balance lease. The 3 beta available are sized at 1,200 odd to 1,300 odd square feet. PSF, we are looking at a range of 2,200 odd to 2,600 odd. A quick look at Costa del Sol as well, it's an older 99 year 
Guinness hold from 1997, leaving a balance lease of 73 years. And the three betas there are sized at 1,300 odd square feet. PSF range from 1,700 to 1,900 odd. But of course, this project is right beside at District 16. Coming back to Envio, boutique project that is freehold and status, three beta at 1,033 square feet, asking $1.68 million, which has a very palatable PSF of 1,600 odd. For the past two to three years, boutique projects have been forgotten because buyers have been placing more emphasis on new launches. Now, what we have realized on the ground is that boutique projects are slowly catching up to the pricing. Evidently, we can see that the price gap between our unit right here at Envio as compared to the big projects which we have shared earlier on is still a big gap. Hence, making our unit right here at Envio priced at just $1.68 million, which is a PSF of about 1,600 odd, to be a very palatable PSF and a very safe entry price for today's market. And this also allows you to own a freehold property right here in the Prime District 15. Entering at this safe price point also gives you, as the next homeowner, a very good buffer for potential appreciation in the future as the boutique project catch up to the big boys pricing. Now to add on, D15 is actually still undergoing transformation. Now besides the Thompson East Coast Line, which is slated to be completed in 2025, the Long Island plan is still under research and going through discussion, as well as the district right beside us at District 16, which is the Bayshore transformation with 11 residential plots of lands which will be introduced. Because of the skill of this transformation, it will create some spillover effect to where we are today in District 15. As we walk further into the home, over here on my right hand side is actually the common bathroom. And this common bathroom is really sizable. What we do have is two large panels of windows right over there, which can help to dispel all the moisture. And what I also like is that you can see that this cabinet underneath the sink do not go all the way to the bottom. So if you do need to, you know, do some cleaning, it will be easily accessible. And now to head on into the bedroom itself. So what we have here is actually being utilized as a study area. But if let's say we do remove this two desk, you could actually do up a single bed carpentry that fits on top of the bay window. And at the side, you can still use this as your dressing table. You can do your makeup here in the morning. And at the corner there, you can also use it as the study area. So pretty roomy for this space itself. And if you want to fit a queen size bed, you could definitely do so as well. And over here, it also comes complete with five panel of wardrobe space for your storage needs. into the master bedroom, you do have a beautiful built-in with two side tables and currently it can be fitted with a queen size bed. For your master bedroom right here, you do have access towards the balcony area. So similarly, the balcony area has also been fitted with louvers for privacy reasons and what I'd like to share with you that what you could consider is actually to hack down this wall which essentially elongates your entire balcony area all the way from your dining living to your master bedroom. And if you want to consider installing zip track, then you can definitely increase your entire livable space. And of course, for your master bedroom, it comes with a master ensuite. So over here, you do have a couple of window panels which allows for natural lighting to come inside into this bathroom itself. You have a sizable shower area. And what is really interesting in my opinion and really unique about this master ensuite is over here, this walk-in wardrobe. Imagine, you know, you just take out fresh out of the shower, you just step right here and choose the clothes that you need to wear and you just put them on. And this is really unique. So you don't typically find a walk-in wardrobe in inside the bathroom. You could also put in a humidifier to help to dispel the moisture and keep this area dry. Thank you for staying to the end of this home tour with me. So once again, if you are looking for a three-bedder home size at 1033 square feet right in District 15, which is a prime location and at the asking price of below $1.7 million, which keeps your PSF at a very palatable 1,600 odd, then do give our listing team a call. Our contact details are down below. Do also like and subscribe to Property Lean Brothers channels. We are also on Facebook, Instagram and TikTok. My name is Yin Yin, Property Lean Brothers. Always happy to show you the place. Or you could also use this play, place, space and play space and place. <laughs> or you could also, uh, okay. But you don't need to worry, worry so much. This is definitely a unit worth considering. 对不对? 就是对的, consider 我们的unit来买吧! Okay, how?